So you're seeing all these what I eat in the day videos and you're wondering to yourself, how are these people eating so much and still staying skinny? Well, don't worry because your online bestie is here and I got you. Hi besties, it's your girl Shar here. I don't know if we liked that new intro. <laughs> I'm trying something different because my last intro did not really align to the title of this podcast, but hopefully this one is better. Oh my god, I didn't realize I locked the cat in the room with me as I'm filming, so hold on, let me go let the cat out real quick. Okay, sorry, I'm back, but yeah, so today's topic is quite an intense one. It is about eating, so trigger warning if you get triggered by talking about food, eating disorders, binge eating, all of that, then kindly step out of this podcast. I really wanted to talk about this topic today because recently I've been seeing a lot of just what I eat in the day videos either being super unrealistic and these people are eating little to none or eating so much and claiming that that is what they eat every day. And then I also recently saw this TikTok of this girl just kind of saying that she's like concerned that her awareness and like worries about eating is just going to be with her for the rest of her life. And I saw the comments and a lot of girls related to it. And I mean, me personally, I also relate to it a lot. So I really wanted to make a podcast about this because I know that a lot of the people listening and that watch my videos are young girls. And this is just an issue that we all share, I think. And I think this issue is also so normalized nowadays. And I think talking about it really helps to try to tell you guys that it's okay to eat um, and that we shouldn't be normalizing eating disorders and all of that. Me, personally, I don't really talk about this and I don't really talk about it to anyone because I kind of just think like, oh, this issue about eating disorders like, is so normalized. Like, everybody goes through it, so it's not even a problem to talk about. But me, last year, I had a really bad relationship with food and that's when I kind of realized, oh, this is something that more people need to talk about and I mean obviously it is talked about all the time but I personally realized that listening to other people address this issue has helped my relationship with food so I just kind of want to help you guys as well. Ever since I was young I have always been very aware of my weight and very aware of what I was eating. Growing up I was a chunky chunky kid and if you grew up in an Asian household then you know that <laughs> you are going to be told that you're fat. Like, I was literally, as a second grader, told I was fat all the time and that I needed to lose weight. And so I was just very aware of that. And I've always kind of been aware of how much I would eat a day and stuff like that. At a young age, that's how I developed a pretty bad binge eating problem, which I didn't even realize that I had a binge eating problem until I was in college and then my roommate was like Charlize I think this is not healthy because she would see it like literally in real time of me binge eating but I would just like constantly think of food as like something like every time I would eat I would be like this is maybe the last time I will ever eat this because I need to restrict myself from eating this so I'm gonna eat it all right now and then when I got to college is when my relationship with food became even worse. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the freshman 15, but that's like when you start college, a lot of freshmen gain 15 pounds. That is like the stigma. And I was so scared that I was going to be part of the freshman 15. So when I started college and I moved to New York, I like literally did not eat. I would eat like one meal a day and that meal wouldn't even be a big meal. I would purposely never buy myself groceries. If I buy myself groceries, obviously I would eat. So I didn't buy myself groceries. And then since college, I think my relationship with food has been on and off. And then last year, 2023, towards like the end of the summer was when it got very bad. A big part of this is because of, you know, it being normalized like I distinctly remember hearing girls talk about how they weren't eating um and like they would eat, like starve themselves for an entire day to stay skinny and all of that and I was like oh the girlies are doing this then if that's what they're doing then 
I guess that's what I need to do too. I'm telling you all this not to encourage this behavior, but to kind of show you my experience and that it's very normal. And like, I think a lot of people go through this, but it shouldn't be normal. Even though I did do this, I don't encourage it because the results were very bad. Because I was not eating at all and restricting myself so much, I had become so obsessed with the thought of food. I was literally, I could not pay attention to anything else because I was just constantly thinking about like food. I stopped like just taking care of my health in general because I wasn't eating. I was like, ah, oh, it's okay if I don't go to the gym because I'm already not eating anyway. So I wasn't even going to the gym. I wasn't like working on my health. I had lost a lot of hair, which I still don't really necessarily know if that is directly due to the fact that I wasn't eating, but I do know that that is a effect of not eating. So, and when I lost a lot of hair, that period of time was when I was not eating. So part of me thinks that maybe that has some correlation. <laughs> and that was honestly probably like the worst part of everything was the fact that I was losing hair. I literally had like a bald spot at the top of my root. It's like covered now, kind of. My hair is growing back now. Okay, guys, so don't worry. But I did lose a lot of hair during that time. After that, I realized maybe we need to build this relationship back up. And when I was seeing all these videos and doing a lot more research on food and like how to still eat and maintain a good figure was when it has really helped me build my relationship with food. The main purpose of this is for me to tell you guys that you need to eat to stay in shape if that's what you want. And I will get into like how you can eat well and eat whatever you want and still maintain a good figure and stay healthy. And before we like even talk about the whole negative stigma about wanting to diet and lose weight and all of that, like let's be so for real here. The way society has built our brains and set our standards, there's gonna be a time that you wanna lose weight. And instead of trying to sugarcoat it and be like, oh, like you don't need to lose weight, like you don't need to whatever diet, like blah, blah, blah. You're going to do it anyways. You're going to want to anyways. That's just how we are. And that's why I want to be here to help you guys still manage to lose weight or maintain your weight, um, but in a healthy way. But with that being said, I do think in order to get to your goal with whatever weight, body shape, health, whatever that you're trying to get to, you need to be grateful for the body that you do have right now. And I've said this in my last podcast, once you reach your goal of whatever you're trying to hit, if you're not grateful for what you have now, you're not gonna be grateful in the future. You won't love yourself in the future if you don't love yourself now. If you wanna lose weight, if you wanna diet, whatever, that is your personal thing, but still love yourself now. And I just wanna teach you guys how to do this in a healthy way, or just even build a relationship with food in a healthy way. First, let's be very aware of what goal you're trying to reach with your relationship with food and what you're trying to do for your body. My issue towards the end of last year was I was trying to reach a certain body type that was so unrealistic and so unhealthy. The first step for me was really just to accept that my body is the way that my body is and the standard that I wanted to achieve for myself was not a healthy one and a realistic one. So first, make sure that your goal is healthy. I was trying to achieve like this very stereotypical Chinese standard like body type, which is literally very skinny. If you know the Chinese beauty standard, it's just like unrealistically thin. And my body just cannot even do that. <laughs> Like, some of the images that I had, like, saved and was like, this is what I want. Girl, your body would not be able to ever... Like, even if I don't eat, girl, your body's not going to look like that. Because that's just how my body is built. I am built more, like, big on the bigger side. Like, broader. I have broader shoulders. Like, just a broader body type that... That is so unrealistic. And, like, for me to even reach that goal to get there, I literally probably just wouldn't, ha wouldn't eat. And so, I realized I had to change the standard. I need to shift my focus away from that and knowing that that is not healthy and trying to figure out a different goal that is healthy. Just accepting the body shape that I have. I am someone who builds fat quite easily. I get bloated easily. 
Uh, you can really see the fat in my face whenever I gain a little bit of weight. Like, I get, like, a major double chin. I just have a double chin naturally. But when I gain weight, you can, like, really see it. One of my biggest things and one of the biggest things I was insecure about was just, like, the fat in my body. And I really wanted to just reduce it. And I remember getting so angry, like, seeing these videos of girls being like, just eat, girl. Just eat whatever you want. I'd be like, literally, shut up. <laughs> like, I was like, literally, shut up because this isn't working for me. It is true that eating is going to help you way more than not eating because this is what happens when you don't eat, okay? You restrict yourself so much that your mind is just filled with thoughts of food and becomes an obsession. When you restrict yourself this much, whenever you, let's say, decide to give yourself a cheat day one day, you're going to literally binge eat. I would literally not eat and then one day if I decide to let myself eat i'm eating like everything like a whole pint of ice cream and entire one time i ate an entire cake by myself in one sitting and i would eat so much to the point that i would want to throw up which is not you shouldn't be doing that you know because you're not eating like it really ruins your metabolism too so then when you do eat you will gain weight quicker and like get bloated quicker, which is what I noticed. I have been able to achieve my goal of losing more fat and maintaining a better, healthier figure by literally eating my three meals a day. If I'm keeping myself full and fueled throughout the day, I'm not going to keep thinking about food. I'm not going to constantly be thinking about the next chocolate cake I'm going to eat. I also allow myself from time to time eat the sweets that I want. But I think it's also very important to note that I am eating my three meals a day. I am making sure that they are well-balanced meals, whole foods, foods that will keep me filled like a lot of protein, simple carbs, fiber, fats, all of that. I am not eating like a huge Big Mac every meal, okay? Because that's just not... First of all, those foods like are so bad for you and like are foods that you can eat once in a while and are so bad for like your brain and every other aspect but when I am eating my three meals a day a lot of times they are very healthy whole foods which I like to say like 80 20 rule so 80 percent of the time you're eating healthy whole foods 20 percent of the time you're giving yourself those special like desserts treat whatever something I have found very helpful when it comes to trying to eat healthy and eating better and eating clean is meal prepping and cooking for yourself now i am no chef okay i suck at cooking i also don't really have time to cook like that as i am working and in school and all of that and i travel but let me tell you how easy it is to make a simple like chicken broccoli and rice okay i would be so lazy and I think up until last year, I didn't ever cook for myself at all, which is why I would eat so... Like, whenever I did eat, it would be bad because I would just, like, buy food, whatever. But let me tell you, okay? Let me literally tell you. Go to the store. Get some chicken breast. You can store it in the freezer to let make it last longer. If you're meal prepping, like, let's say you have a day where you can spend time cooking and meal prepping for the week season the chicken breast a little bit if you want to put season on your chicken breast then put season on your chicken breast okay you don't need to eat that raw and like unseasoned to be healthy this one influencer i follow nutrition by kylie she once said if you need to use dressing or whatever to eat your salad and to eat more vegetables then use that dressing because it's better to eat a salad with dressing than not eat any vegetables at all. I season my chicken. I put some garlic powder, some cayenne pepper, some salt on it. I season it and I cook like freaking eight chicken breasts for the week. Broccoli, okay? Trader Joe's sells like these bags of broccoli. All you need to do is microwave it. Just put it in the microwave. Add some salt, add some pepper, whatever you want. Or you can boil it if you're feeling frisky. That's it. That's it. Rice. There's also instant rice that you could buy. Or you could replace rice with maybe a slice of bread. Whatever you want. Whatever you're feeling. It is that easy. Okay. It is that easy to make yourself a meal. Maybe you're seeing this and hearing this like, Oh, that meal's not going to keep me full. 
You can buy some filling snacks like I like bananas, boiled eggs, peanut butter. If you're trying to eat clean or build your relationship with food, I just really highly recommend meal prepping because like once you have that meal like just in your fridge and you can like pop it in the microwave and you're set, like it, it becomes so much easier. And I'm so proud whenever I cook. Ever since I started cooking my own meals and stuff like that, I'm like, I have to eat this because I did that. Like, I did that. If you're trying to get a more fit and toned body, gain some muscle, you need to eat, okay? Because if you're just lifting weights every day, you're not adding anything else into your body, though, to build that muscle. Going to the gym is not going to help you lose weight. Fixing your relationship with food is. You could go to the gym, and if you just, like, have... A terrible relationship with food though you're not gonna see any progress as someone who has struggled with food all her life I have heard all these different like nutritionists be like yeah you need to eat to lose weight and I have always been like please shut up like don't tell me what to do because it's not working for me there's a reason why people are saying these things okay because you truly do need to just maintain a good relationship with food and know what's good for your body in order to either lose weight, maintain a figure, be healthy. I am being so freaking for real. I have been able to lose the fat in my body. Not all of it, obviously. Like, I still got some stuff, but I have been able to have a better figure after I started eating more. When I wasn't eating, I had so much, like, I wasn't like fat, but I had like excess fat in my body. Something I noticed when I started to eat better and like eat my three meals a day was obviously my hair has gotten better. My skin has gotten better and brighter. I am definitely more energized throughout the day. Um, I can have a more successful gym workout day when I do eat before the gym. The biggest thing that I have noticed, like I said, I used to be someone who got bloated so easily. My bloating has literally gotten so much better now that I've been eating like regularly because when I wasn't eating regularly, whenever I would eat like I would bloat like crazy but now I literally like don't bloat like crazy anymore like I mean I will like after eating but like it's not as bad at the end of the day I'm giving you this bestie advice to just guide you guys and help you guys relate to me and because I know a lot of people have this issue with food and all of that but just find what works for you and I think I say that in all of my podcasts is figuring out what works for you because I hate following other people's diets. I hate seeing those what I eat in the day videos and seeing people try to follow them because everybody reacts to food differently. What someone may eat may affect their body differently than it does to yours. And I think that is very important to take note. And also, please take note that sometimes these what I eat in the day videos are so not real. I have seen people literally fake they're what I eat in the day videos. I am a content creator, guys, so I have seen it all. I've seen people, like, show them eat, like, so much, and in reality, they take a bite of it and spit it out. Don't believe everything you see on social media. One video is not someone's entire life. It is literally maybe, like, 30 seconds of someone's life. Just follow whatever you need to follow for yourself to be healthy and what is working for you. I hope, honestly, the big takeaway for this is I just want everybody to know that this is an issue that needs to be addressed way more often and know that even though maybe you might have friends around you who are saying oh I'm not gonna eat today because I need to maintain my figure I need to stay skinny that's not normal okay that's not normal we were not freaking born to not eat for an entire day and like starve ourselves and like that's just not how we work because I think for me especially maybe it's being in New York City, maybe it's being surrounded by a lot of public figures who obviously want to make sure that they maintain how they look for the camera and stuff like that, and being also someone who wants to maintain a good image online. This is definitely an issue that I've just been very aware of. Maybe because it's my surrounding, it is super normalized, and I just want everyone to know that's not normal. It's not normal. That's basically all I'm trying to say. It's not normal. <laughs> I hope you guys liked this podcast. Please rate and review five stars if you did so I can keep making these podcasts for you guys as your online bestie. I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye!